Uh, the escort. The escort. Here. Please. Na watu wa nyimbo wamefika. All bishops uh, who are able, can you please follow the, be, be at the back there, be at the back there. Yeah, but you are there, it's okay, you need to be there, it's okay. Because the Sarabha do it on the side. So let's be behind with the Sarabha. Koya, Koya. Wana u sehemu yangu Rafiki yangu wewe Yesu katika safari yangu Tatembe ya nawe O Yesu pamoja na wewe Pamoja na wewe Katika safari yangu tatembe ya nawe Oni ongoze safari ni Mere huu chukue Ni mwamingu ni ningi Yesu pamoja na wewe Pamoja na wewe O mlango ni mwambindu yuni Nyingi nye na wewe O maliha hapa sikutaka Ili ni she Welcome everyone of us to this final send off of our brother before we pray, let me say this. Generals are not collected from the streets or from those who are idle. Generals are made generals from the battlefield. And our brother has been in the battlefield for those many years. We as witnesses and co-workers with him have every right to stand here not to complain but to thank God for our brother. Also, we are here during the final mass, part of the mass. And on behalf of what we are doing, we are going to also to perform mass for many people in the world from Australia from Europe from Africa South America Canada everywhere and Far East Asia India those who are dying in the Lord we touch and join with these people we touch their souls and spirits even as we escort our general from Nairobi city. Two, we are also praying in this cemetery there are so many people who have been buried. I can tell you one time we had buried people here, children. I can remember we were buried people, now it's no longer a grave, but now they have been made a grave. What am I saying? A lot of wisdom have, has been buried in, in Langata. Many souls who died, whose spirits may not be here, but we want 
as a recognized army of the Lord. Do it well, even if it's for a few minutes, do it very well and pray for all who have slept in this Kaburi. What wamelala katika Kaburi hi na wameenda to now appear that you have the final gift reward of eternal life together with our brother and those who have gone before us. I will ask Bishop Nyatuka to pray the first prayer. Father, we are praying to you. Our Father who art in heaven, allowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Our kingdom is not dead. Our kingdom is life. And Father, I pray as we come to the last lights of the burial, let your strength and power, not the strength we imagine, you are our power, Jesus who died on the cross. And because of resurrection, none who believes you will be retained in the grave forever. We know that day of the Lord, my friend, Bishop Karanja will arise and we will meet on that day. We bless every person who has come here for this purpose to comfort the family and to comfort one another. Father, stand with us. You are the one who is keeping us. And by your grace, the time that you chose us for the purpose of your calling, we obeyed. And Father, we believe in you because whoever does not believe that Jesus arose, then he will die forever. But we, it is life to life. It is just today is an exchange from life to life. And we pray knowing that God, this will not happen in his family again so quickly because by grace, you will bless them. We condemn every demons which come after burial. And we say, demons, you have got no power. Let the blood of Jesus curse you. And I pray knowing that God, even the minister ministering to us, let your hand be with him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Rest the, have the first reading from Bishop Obonyo. Our first reading comes from the book of Psalms 139, <coughs> verse number 1, down to verse number 13. O Lord, Thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down-sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, Thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yeah, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee, for thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well one verse of the song damo ya kena sadaka na tegemea daima 
yote chini ya kisha mokozi atanitosha o kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama it is quite in order with the with the priesthood to release the program for committal we are doing the final part and we did these words i hope the pentecostals will just adjust from revelation chapter 14 and verses 12 and 13 and this is read by the leading minister. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right. Rest and are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, say the Spirit of the Lord that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Let us pray. O God, by whose mercy the faithful departed find rest. Bless this grief and ascend your Holy Spirit to watch over it. As we bury here the body of our brother Philip Karanja, deliver his soul from every board of sin that he may rejoice in you with your sins forever. We ask this in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. April said, Amen. What a tuombe. Emu nyezi mungu. Tua itakaza hii nyumba. Tua sema ni nyumba. Ya mwili huu. Lakini nafsi ya ndugu yetu Nafsi yake is not in this grave It has joined you already And therefore in the name of the Father And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit We sanctify this grave Able to say the Amen, amen. Amen. Kabla tu jas enda kwa ne kwa lenguni gine wata tuone nini ni nani atafungulia hapa ni webe ama ni kijana kanisu who is the attendant here can they show how you will release over there it's over there.
and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands and cried with a loud voice saying salvation to our God which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb and all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshipped God saying Amen Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Now to the soul and to our brother in heaven. Brother Bishop Karanja, we will treasure the memory of your words and works, your character and quality and will be forever enriched for having known you as a person because we see your face and so 
your kind and generous nature, we commit to our memories forever. Your love to many people in your family, to the ministry and the work of God as a general in the field. Your humor and friendship we commit to our hearts, those belong to our hearts, and for your body, we committed to the earth, grave, but your soul, we lift it up to God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. There are only a few minutes remaining now. We cancelled a lot of problem here. Now, I'll ask one of our brothers, Brother Thimba, Bishop, to over Thanksgiving prayer, short prayer. Our Father and our God, we are turning to you and we are offering the sacrifice of thanksgiving for the number of years that you gave Bishop Philip Domukaranja to us. Thank you, dear Father, for what you enabled him to accomplish in the kingdom of our Heavenly Father. I pray, dear Lord, that we will continue to have your own way in the lives of the members of his family and above all that we will continue to do your work even in the Ministry of Victory Centers in Kenya and globally. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. One of the final words we read from the book of Revelations. The book of Revelations 21, verse 1 to 7. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, Neither shall be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh, shall inherit all things and I will be his God and he shall be my son. I'll ask the, one of the prayers from our mother in the Lord to offer a prayer as our mother in Israel, Her Excellency. Our dear Henry Father, we thank you this day. Our Lord and our God, let the Spirit of God now take over and have a move, O oh God, upon the family that you have given. The biological family, the spiritual family, the sons and the daughters, O oh dear God, and the Church of Jesus Christ. Our Lord, we know of his works, and now let his works go ahead to speak and to be able to reveal what we need to know. So that, Lord God, we stand as one family of God. We thank you for you are the father to the fatherless. So, Father God, we know you shall keep them as your own, O oh dear God. You are the husband to the widow. And now, Father God, we are handing this family to you so that their comfort and their progress and their future 
be dipped and anchored in you. Our Lord, we pray also for the spiritual family. The Lord God, you will come, for you said you'll never leave us, you'll not forsake us. And for this we know that Lord God Almighty, as he rests in peace, O oh God, and shines forth to glory, our Lord and our God, we shall also meet with him at the time that is appointed by you. So we glorify you and honor you as he rests in peace. Jehovah, receive the glory and receive the honor. We are so thankful that we had such a gift. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. each one of us this afternoon I Jesus have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright monster the spirit and the bride say come and let him who hears say, come. All preachers say, come. All men of God, ministers of the gospel say, come. Whoever is dusty, let him come. And whosoever wishes, let him take the free gift of the water of life. Say, come. He who testifies to this thing say, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, come. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Hallelujah. Afford to give God a good heart clap, please. Afford. Who is having the Kijiko? Mchanga. Watu wa nyimbo, umekua wapi? Yeah. 
just let's go with it some little under here. Psalms 23, just two, two verses, song, Muhib. Okay, go ahead. Hakika, we mana zofadi li, zitani fuata mimi, itaka nyumbani, siku zote za maisha ya. Hakika, Hakika, we mana zofadi, zita nifuata, nifuata, nita ka, ka nyumba ni mwabwa ana siku zote, za maisha yangu uh, as it is order now the the final order is that we we put back earth to earth and uh, uh, dust to dust but we have no ashes so uh, i want to put two which we have now and now all of you be ready now. We'll be putting ones, all of it. So let me say the three. Now, in Jesus' name, we do as we are told. And now we return earth to earth and dust to dust. Put it, please. But for the soul of Bishop Philip Karanja, we hand it over now with thanksgiving and join the whole world. From here, the mass, we pray for all of the departed souls over the whole world because we are called. And thank you, Father. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you have allowed us this morning to be together in unity, yes. to be together focusing on Jesus, Amen. to be together singing the same song, the Victor song, Wimbo Ashini. Thank you, Father, that it is well now. We now cover this coffin, which is also part of the house, of the home, of the body here. And uh, Thank you that the memories will go from generation to generations that in Kenya there is a saint of God who has joined the eternal life physically. Thank you, Father. It is well. Let's see the grace. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now. And forevermore. Amen. What to Nimbo? The family members. Mgoji what to Nimbo? Mgoji. Family, any family, closer family members who did not do it? Please. Wapereke pali. Na wale tumefanya tusonga nyumba kidogo. The family. We also give a chance to them. Is anybody here 78 years old? And above. <laughs> 78 years old, we salute you. This is your day for resurrection. Anyone who is 78, exactly 78 today? Yeah. 
Yeah, please go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What from him? To pen him changa. To pen him changa. But now we will move from this point and the singing and go on while you are doing the final thing. We may not wait for Koroga, but we want to finish our ceremony right now. Do it well here, right now. So, okay, can we have the flowers? What we take here that we come out do to the to keep our home away from us. You know the problem here. Not to take it away, God. You give us that at now time. We want the flowers here and the musaraba here. The cross and the flowers. Yeah, brother.
have this close now. Uh, whoever is in, in charge here, I don't know who's in charge. When you finish this close, you put it that side facing this way. This way. There. Or the ambo. Yeah, hold it now. Bless Bishop Philip Karanja, born 3rd March 1946, and now has gone to be the Lord from 21st of March 2024. A father to many. We put the cross physically so that everyone, every human being, Whoever will pass here will know this was a Christian. That is our ID, identity. And that is our DNA. Our DNA is the cross of Jesus Christ. I want Bishop to pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we are dedicating now this cross as a symbol of this servant who walked and lived according to the laws and the regulations of the cross of Jesus Christ. Let every man, every woman who passes by here, as they notice the cross, let them remember the servant of God who served and lived according to the cross. And God our Father, let your name be exalted, let your name be lifted, and let many come to know you, whom to know is life eternal. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, uh, this, when you finish, let you finish this way. At end, please. God bless you. We allow the, those people who own this marks to organize themselves. Then you go ahead. On behalf of the clergy and the senior spiritual fathers of the nation of Kenya and the churches all over and all people, I want to take this opportunity to say God bless all of you. God bless all of you. And I say, don't die. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. We receive. And especially the children who are standing there waving at me, I salute you. May God give you long life and may God increase you. As you have come to witness a general being late, you will live and not die. Amen. And you will increase and you inherit the land. You are our future and we love you. Yeah. Amen. Thank you very much indeed. God bless you now. Those who may be here, may be here. Songs, we don't see choir. They, they must be here. But you go ahead now with the preparation of the final thing. We love you all. See you. Yeah, see you very soon. God bless you.